So what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we are going to tie a mitt which is called the bubble back mitt. And you can create this bubble with many different ways but I'm going to create it with a glass bead as you're going to see soon. The uh, thread we are using that is uh, Semperfly Professional 20 denier. That's a very really thin thread, but really strong. Uh, we are going to use uh, 0.2 mil uh, silver wire from Simplify for the rip of the fly. And uh, oh yeah, start uh, by attaching or catching the thread, catching the wire with your thread, and uh, lock that in in a decent position. And it is like a small number of a fly, so we want to keep the body as thin as possible. I like that a lot to fish those flies, like light dressed, thin, and all that. And and uh, we create the body just like this with our thread wraps, and it's like tiny, just like the uh, just like the midges are. Uh, I got actually uh, a question and a comment uh, on one of the videos why we Icelanders dress our flies so lightly compared to US and UK and some other parts in the world. But uh, I think the main reason for that, especially in the salmon flies, we are like, a, I would say like a, one of the leading nations in uh, creating good salmon flies. Uh, we need to dress them low, like uh, light for particular reasons, for low water season and and just rivers that are not that big. You need small, lightly dressed flies for those rivers. Uh, make the rib of the fly like this so it looks good. We helicopter off the wire, of course, and we are using an RX uh, emerger hook number 16 for this time and uh, like I said yeah uh, here is one of the uh, matches I've tied already with the uh, beat on the on the back you can actually I think uh, play around with the colors of the beat but as a bubble it makes of course uh, sense that is uh, to have it a clear glass beat uh, for the thorax of the fly or the wing case like a uh, like a tiny wing case. We are just using black wool uh, and just a tiny bit of it. If you, if you do have any other dubbing materials that are like finer than the wool, I will of course suggest to use them, but I didn't find mine when I was shooting the video, so we'll just use the um, black wool. And it gets the mids a little buggy as you see, so it's like it makes sense to use uh, use it. Yep, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, here's a beat, and I'm actually using the uh, beat, and I thread it up on a on a tippet material, uh, which is uh, somewhere between five and ten lips in 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 strength. I would say for this size of a fly, 10, I'm using a 10, 10 lips. 10 is a little bit, you know, a little bit thick, as you see. The five lips will be way better, uh, according to the space and all that on, on the fly. But uh, anyway, we are using the, the 10 uh, lips for this one. Uh, then we snip off or adjust first the beat in place so it's not rolling or wiggling or anything. We'll just... Uh, Secure it in place, and then we are going to snip off the rest of the tippet material. You can use any kind of tippet material you have, as long as it's strong enough to keep the bead in its place. And the rest of the fly, like the rest of the wing case or the or the thorax, is uh, another portion of black wool. And remember, it's always. Better to use less than more while dubbing. It's better to go again and stuff instead of 
being cut off with way too much dubbing material on your thread. And we wrap this, like you see, around the bead to create uh, like a wing case that makes sense in a way. Um, early season and 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 uh, like in June here in Iceland, that's uh, considered as like a like a early season May and June. We have so short uh, summer here. Uh, I have done good things with this fly, especially for Arctic char and uh, brown trout. And that you just let the fly sit there and you do not move it much. If you drag it, drag it slow and it's uh, often with fantastic results. We made the whippiness, a couple of them, and uh, I'm going to apply just like a tiny drop of a uh, sapper cap super glue on the, on the uh, knot. Just like so. It's just like a tiny touch of it. We don't want to coat all the dubbing or anything in, in Sapa Gap. This is like, it cannot be more than this. And, uh, and to just snip away this stuff with the glue on. But uh, the fly is then ready to fish. I would suggest, uh, yeah. And do this, of course, uh, check the hook eye to make sure it's uh, clear. The fly is ready, guys. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.